Hey everyone, it's Rachel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to be getting some skin needling. Now, I have had some really, really bad cystic acne for so, so long. I've just recently started getting skin needling. For those of you who haven't had it before, it's essentially a pen that has lots of very fine needles and they go in and out, in and out of your skin. It's not painful. Uh, they can change the depth that they go into your skin. The idea is that it is creating little tiny scars all over your skin, which then heal and promote collagen, help repair your barrier, make you look a lot glowier. You get kind of like a new fresh layer of skin afterwards. The results speak for themselves. My skin has been so glowy and just so much more clear and clean. It's just amazing. Anyway, guys, let's have a look and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so to start, Christy always gives me a really gorgeous double cleanse. I've sped this up for you guys because no one wants to see me getting my face washed. You will notice I have a scar on my neck. That's from me trying to do my own dermaplaning. Don't re recommend it because that's what happens. So now she washes off the first cleanse and goes in for a second one just to make sure that my skin is as clear as it can be. You can tell I've gone in with makeup on, so we're just getting rid of all of that so that we can start the process correctly. Can I just point out as well, I'm wearing the Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oil in this, and even after those two cleansers, that stuff has not come off. That stuff is crazy. All right, so this is an enzyme mask that she puts on me just to really remove any dead skin and make sure my skin is fresh and clean. So throughout this process, once we start the skin needling, Christy does also apply a serum, which is a hyaluronic acid, I can't say that word, serum that just helps to promote moisture and once my skin starts to heal, it helps that to occur a lot better and give me that glowy skin afterwards. You will notice she puts a face mask on afterwards as well, that's more hyaluronic acid and it just really helps to promote that overall skin health. So now we're cleaning off the enzyme mask that I've had on and we're going to get into the skin needling. You'll see it's like a pen. Now I will give you a trigger warning. There is some blood coming up. So if you're a bit queasy, skip ahead. I'll put the timestamp below. You can see it's making tiny little scars in my skin and you can see how red my skin is becoming. That's because it is essentially going in and out of my skin to create tiny marks. Now this doesn't hurt, it feels a little bit like a massage, at times it can be uncomfortable, but it is not by any means painful. I have in fact said throughout this process, while my cheeks were being done, that it felt like a really nice massage. In, th in fact, I think that's what I'm saying just there. So it just feels really relaxing, it's very comforting almost, and it feels as though your skin and your face are getting a bit of a workout almost. So Christy goes over my entire face with this needle. I'm obviously not going to show you the whole thing because, well, her hand's in the way for some of it. And you can see the pen that she uses is from Dr. Pen. They are available online. Please don't buy one. Go and see a professional. Make sure you get someone to do this properly for you so that you know that the depth that is being done is right for you. The first time I had this done, we went a lot shallower. This time we're going a lot deeper. I believe Christy said this was 1.5 millimeters and previously we'd only done 0.5. So this was quite a step up from my last treatment, but my skin handled it really well. So make sure you are consulting a professional when you are having this done. You can see here she's putting on the serum before going in with the pen again. And you can see my cheeks are becoming quite red because they've just been done. Now after this, you will feel kind of sunburnt, I guess is the best way to put it. I guess I kind of look sunburnt as well. And so the next day, you can only apply SPF, no makeup, no skin wash or anything like that, just SPF. So with that being said, make sure that you get the correct aftercare plan from your professional. You want to make sure that you're doing this properly. I'm a big believer that if you're going to do something, you should do it right and you should do it right the first time, especially when it comes to skincare. It can be a very expensive mistake to do something wrong 
and you could cause damage in the long run. So please make sure that you follow the aftercare plan that is provided to you. All right, let's speed this up and watch the rest of this before we go into the next step. So here we are after the skin needling itself has been finished. You can see there are some redness marks on my face. Uh, there is a bit of blood. Christy is wiping all of that off. It's not anything that's going to be bleeding for a long time afterwards. It'll just wipe off and you're good to go. So don't be alarmed by that. Again, if you're squeamish, I apologize. But they are very, very tiny little marks. You can see her trying to rub those ones off there. And they've come away. So at this point... There is now a sheet mask on my face, which you can kind of see that is allowing more hyaluronic acid to be absorbed into my skin. And this stays on for some time. Christy does go over it as well with the needle and you can see her now removing it. So again, I get one final cleanse so that she can rub the hyaluronic acid further into my skin and make sure it's fully absorbed. You can see my skin is very glowy at this time with all of that serum sitting on there. So just rub it into the skin and make sure it's absorbed. It's so relaxing. It's guys, if you haven't done this and you're scared, just just do it. I promise you it won't hurt and it is just such a relaxing experience. And yeah, you have a couple of days downtime, no makeup, and you'll have a bit of an aftercare regime. So just make sure you've got a couple of days where you can get away without makeup and things like that and you should be absolutely fine. I'd love to know about your experiences with this, whether you've had it done or you're thinking about having it done or you maybe have some questions about the experience. I'd love to hear from you. Drop me a line in the comments below or you can reach out to me. I'm recommendations from Rach across TikTok and Instagram and obviously here on YouTube. Uh, reach out. Would love to hear from you. Okay guys, so that's it. That's skin needling. What do you think? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love if you could click the like button or subscribe and that way you get notified next time I upload a video and I'd love to see you here. If you'd like to check out my Instagram, I do a daily poll where I ask you guys whether what I'm wearing is drugstore or high end. What do you think today's is? Go and have a look. I'll see you next time. Bye.